Good morning and thank you for joining us here at SEMA. My name is Michael Sprague. I'm the Executive Vice President of Marketing and Communications for Kia Motors America. There is no doubt that Kia is a brand on the move. After launching nine new products in less than three years, we've set 26 consecutive monthly sales records. Earned a reputation as an industry leader in automotive styling, thanks to Peter Schreier and his amazing global team. And we've completely transformed the perception of the Kia brand through a number of high-profile partnerships, like our relationship with basketball all-star Blake Griffin in the NBA, as well as other creative marketing platforms. Kia is a much different company than it was just a few years ago, and with seven new and redesigned vehicles scheduled to arrive in our showrooms in 2013, we're focused on advancing value to new levels of sophistication and continuing our efforts to raise consumer awareness and consideration for the Kia brand with new and passionate audiences. As part of those same efforts, I'm proud to share a very special one-of-a-kind partnership with you today. As you might already know, Kia has joined forces with DC Entertainment for a 10-month-long initiative that will deliver eight Justice League-inspired custom vehicles to help raise awareness for DC's We Can Be Heroes Giving Campaign, a program that provides famine relief in the Horn of Africa. This program aligns with Kia's efforts to be a more proactive and engaged corporate citizen, as evidenced by our recent partnership with DonorsChoose.org an innovative web-based organization that supports public school students and teachers across the U.S. We unveiled the Batman theme Optima, which you see before you in New York a few weeks back. Built by Rides Magazine, this awe-inspiring Kia features a matte and piano black paint scheme, muscular ground effects kit, custom-designed 20-inch black GFG drama wheels, and case for front and rear disc brakes. The bat signal projects from the HID headlights and throwing stars, otherwise known as batarangs, were installed in the center console. Yellow LED lighting and a custom batwing front grill complete the look of the Caped Crusader Kia. Today, you'll be the first to see four more superhero vehicles that bring Aquaman, The Flash, Green Lantern, and Cyborg to life. Helping me reveal these vehicles is legendary comic book artist and DC Entertainment co-publisher, Jim Lee, here to my right. Jim. Jim has been the creative force behind the design of these vehicles and has worked directly with our build partners, West Coast Customs, Super Street Magazine, and Rides Magazine to bring these Justice League cars to fruition and fuse our cars with the comic books. Jim has also added his personal touch to each car by incorporating custom superhero artwork to the back windows. This element not only captures the inspiration behind each build, but also ties all of the Justice League vehicles together as one cohesive force. Also here to help us pull off the sheets of our SEMA cars is Ryan Friedlinghaus, founder and president of the world famous West Coast Customs. Ryan, thank you very much. Designer and artist, John Seamall. John, where are you? There he is, John, thank you for coming. He's brought specifically for this project by our friends at Super Street Magazine and David Zuckerberg, associate publisher of Rides Magazine. David, there you go. Thank you, David. So without any more delay, let's start with our first superhero machine, the West Coast Customs built Aquaman Rio 5 door. Jim, can you tell us a little bit about the superhero Aquaman? Sure. Uh, this is a little bit of a DC 101 for you guys that aren't familiar with the characters. Aquaman is the king of the seven seas. Uh, but a little known fact about Aquaman is that he's actually half human and half Atlantean. So he's got this mixed heritage. And so he's always felt a little bit of an uh, outsider to both worlds. But he inherits this mantle of responsibility to um, protect both land and sea and to uh, ensure that the world's resources are available for all of us. So at its core essence, Aquaman is about balance, environmentalism, and above all, responsibility. Okay, let's reveal it. All right, like Aquaman's commitment to protect the environment, the Rio is known for being Earth-friendly with 85% of its material able to be recycled after its lifespan. The Aquaman Rio features gold and green pearl paint with metal attachments that mimic the armor worn by the King of the Seven Seas. 
LED wheel rings and body lighting adds to the customized feel of the vehicle. Inside, you'll see a cabin upholstered with green leather with orange accents and a beach sand floor. In the rear cargo area, an underwater scene with LED lighting and Aquaman's signature trident surround a 12-inch subwoofer and two coaxial speakers. And the trunk features images from the Aquaman comics. The Rio is the perfect fit for the eco-conscious hero, Aquaman. Our next vehicle, the Flash Forte Coupe, was also built by the famed West Coast Customs. Jim, please educate us on the Flash. Yes, uh, the Flash is the fastest man alive. A uh, little known fact about the Flash. I've got a lot of uh, information this afternoon. Um, anyway, he is, he actually is one of the characters that actually fights crime with two jobs. In his day job, he's a superhero, and he's all about trying to stop the crimes before they occur. And then in his alter ego, he's a forensic scientist, so he's actually trying to solve the crimes that he was unable to prevent as the Flash. So Flash is all about drive, he's all about speed, and, uh, and of all the Justice League characters, he's probably driven 24-7 in this quest for truth and justice. All right, so let's reveal it. Three years ago here at SEMA, we announced Kia's entry into the U.S. road racing, and after winning the driver and team champ championships, Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge in 2011, the Forte Coupe was a natural fit with the speed and sportiness of the Flash. From the hood to the trunk, you'll see the Flash's signature lightning bolt emblazed across a matching red and yellow paint job. A transparent hood allows us to see the powerful engine inside the Forte Coupe, and the custom elements continue with LED wheel rings and body lights. The Flash really comes to life on the inside with custom black leather seating offset with yellow and red stitching and LED accent lighting. Paneling inside the and the vehicle feature scenes from the Flash comic books. Moving on, let's talk about the Green Lantern Soul by Suit, built by Super Street Magazine and rendered by vehicle designer John Seaball, who is also the comic book artist in his own right. Jim, please tell us about the Green Lantern. Yeah, uh, Green Lantern is all about willpower. Uh, chosen for his uh, ability to overcome fear, I shot test pilot Hal Jordan is actually the very first human inducted into the uh, intergalactic police force known as the Green Lantern Corps. And as the Green Lantern, uh, he has immense willpower and a very headstrong nature. Uh, he's very headstrong, and so that gives him this fierce determination to help others. And in that sense, he's actually one of the most powerful and respected members of the Justice League. Okay, let's reveal it. All right, like Green Lantern, the Kia Soul makes its mark by standing out from the crowd. This Soul features a two-tone green and black paint job with green chrome tint on each window. Wide body fender flares and a lowered stance gives this Soul the look of a serious crime fighter. Even the projector beams and fog lights glow with green energy. We fused the rear two doors of this soul shut so that the interior can house the Green Lantern's power battery on a custom-built deck. The leather interior and white leather steering wheel mimic the costume worn by the Emerald Knight. Both unique and edgy, the soul and the Green Lantern make a good match for the Kia and DC Entertainment Partnership. Our last unveiling today is the Cyborg Forte five-door built by Ryan's Magazine. Jim, please introduce us to Cyborg. So, yeah, Cyborg is the uh, newest and youngest member of the Justice League, and he's all about communication. Uh, his life actually almost comes to a tragic end uh, in a horrific accident. He's saved by his father, who uh, actually uses cybernetic technology to save his, his only son. Um, and he makes this incredible tank, but also this hub for all this digital information. So he's all about communication. Um, but despite being sort of the world's champion against all threats, technological, Cyborg really has to struggle to maintain his humanity, his grasp on reality, as the world's data really courses continually through every synapse and neuron in his body. Okay, let's reveal it. Okay, 
Representing modern machinery, Cyborg was the right match for our smart and functional Forte 5 door. This Forte features widened fenders to achieve a muscular and aggressive presence like Cyborg. No Rides Magazine bent to the air scoop and added red LED lights to the Forte that evoke Cyborg's piercing eyes. And the Aztec silver paint job corresponds to the polished metal look of the Justice League's most tech-savvy hero. Inside this Forte has red leather seats with suede accents. Because the Cyborg is an information and knowledge hub, connectivity is maximized in this Forte with a high-tech tablet in the center console area. Finally, the JL audio system ties the whole system together. That wraps up this week's episode of Kia and the Justice League, but stay tuned. There's more to come in the near future. Meanwhile, please take a closer look at each car and feel free to ask questions on our on-site staff who are proudly sporting the blue Justice League t-shirts. Also, please be sure to visit We Can Be Heroes website.